Hey guys, what's up? 6.45, if you watched the last video, you know exactly where I'm going. This is the third weekend, Utah Archery Elk Hunt 2022. Last week, me and my brother, my brother, we are this close to getting two elk out of this stand. But I screwed up, we screwed up. But we only got one elk. I'm going up there without him since he went home with all the meat. So if you want to watch that video, I'll just put a link in the top of the screen. Anyways, this is a sagebrush open, just sagebrush flat. And there's like a pond on it. And right at dusk, it's like crazy, but elk just come out, come out of the pines right above us, come down into the sagebrush, get a drink of water. We've got a tent, huge tent on this pond. That's where I'm sitting tonight. pond is actually super close maybe too close this is a 20 yards right there wow but anyways dave's uh elk when we were cleaning it out we did a little anatomy lesson if you don't want to look at this image uh don't but we are cleaning it out um and i got we wanted to know exactly where the heart was but uh so I think we know right there. So right above that little knob on the uh, leg, the little joint uh, near the bottom of the belly, right above that, that's where I'm going to aim today. I'm going for a heart shot. Perfect heart shot. So anyways, the elk. And they come from this direction. They come from those trees I have there. Right at about eight o'clock. Fingers crossed. So this is like the biggest tent. I can stand up in this tent. Sheesh.
throw the tent. What the crap? I have no idea where my arrow went. I gotta go to the iron check before we all come down. Shot to the freaking tent. I should not have taken that shot. I shouldn't have taken that shot. I gotta find this arrow. I can't shoot another elk because I don't know if I hit this one. Oh, shoot, shoot. That elk snuck in. I didn't have my phone set up because the elk snuck in on me. Alright guys. Got a little drop of blood. That's all I got. That is not a lot of blood. At least I know I hit it. At least I know that I shouldn't be taking another shot tonight. There is where the broadhead went through the tent. Wow. Sorry, Ryan. Put a hole in your tent, dude. Okay. So I just took a frontal shot on an elk. I shouldn't have done it. Um, you got like this tiny little hole like above the sternum where you can shoot through. And if you miss, like the ribs, they kind of just will deflect your arrow outward because all the ribs are like all in a line both sides and you've got this like little tiny hole to shoot through and once you, if you shoot through it there's no exit wound or you got to make it all the way to the back of the elk for the, there to be exit wound so there's probably not going to be exit wound meaning there's not a lot of blood so the only entrance wound is like really high up and uh, no exit wound so like no blood so I found like three blocks drops of blood over there. I was reading on my phone and I heard the stick break. Looked over and there's an elk 20 yards from my tent. I wasn't even ready so I grabbed my bow. I think she heard me so she jumped across the pond and then she started coming down so she started walking past I couldn't pull back because she was like looking at me and walking at the same time. She went past my shooting lane and I tried to stand up. I was walking back into my shooting lane. So I stood up. It was only 20 yards or maybe like 23 yards. So I thought I could get the frontal shot and I hit the tent. So I don't know where my arrow went. I couldn't find my arrow. I couldn't, couldn't see an arrow in the elk as I was running away. So I couldn't really see. On the skyline, I probably put my binoculars up to see if I could see the arrow sticking out. But by the time I put my binoculars up, she had gone over the skyline. <sighs> so, I got a buddy coming up right now to help me track it. Hopefully, it's just like, just past the skyline. Hopefully the arrow's like inside of her chest cavity. Hopefully the arrow's inside of her and she's just lying down up there. Quick death. Otherwise I got a, like some shoulder, which, um, not really fatal, in my opinion. Yeah, if it goes right through the shoulder, you should be able to live. But, oh, I feel really bad. Dang it. I shouldn't have taken that shot. Three yards. Heel. Stay. You ready? Kirby. Find it. Find it. 
Yeah, you can come. She's going fast. <laughs> She's booking it. Hey guys, how's it going? So um, that continued for like six hours or so. We were just, we spent maybe too much time looking for her, her, but it was clear she wasn't dead. She just kept running. There was no stopping, just like little sprinkles of blood here and there, but uh, she clearly wasn't dead. I went home and I bought some of these. These aren't legal in all states. Like I know they aren't legal in Idaho, but in Utah, they are legal. So I would definitely recommend getting these. I probably could have found my arrow in the brush and uh, get three of them for like 20 bucks on like Amazon. It would have saved me like six hours of tracking and then uh, I would have found my arrow. So very good return on your money if you get these. These are, uh, I, I've only tried Nocturnal brand. I think they're all pretty similar, but these are, these work great for me. You can just put them in the back of your arrow and they shoot. For me, they shoot exactly the same. But um, another thing, thanks for watching, by the way. Not many people make it to the end of these videos. <laughs> but uh, um, another thing with the frontal shots, uh, if the elk, you're aiming for that little, little spot above like the sternum, and it was 23 yards away, so I sh could have, sh you should be able to hit that pretty easily if it's close. But another thing I was thinking about is if they're looking right at you, most likely during a frontal shot, and you shoot, there's a good chance they're going to like jump or move because they're kind of spooked anyways. And so then your likelihood of like, they don't have to move very much for you to like miss that little tiny window, in my opinion. So um, I know there's like a lot of, there's some YouTube, a lot of YouTube videos of people like taking frontal shots and the elk like dies really fast, but, uh, um, I don't know. I wouldn't take, I'm not going to take any more of those frontal shots. I don't think they're very good. No, no blood, but, uh, but anyways, so these, you can, uh, you just look up the inside diameter of your arrow and then, uh, you can buy these based on the inside diameter of your arrow. They come in a bunch of different sizes on Amazon. They're the cheapest for me. Um, but get you some. Thanks for watching.